hello guys this is me divakar here and today i'm going to teach you guys how you can add sound into the unity and play it pause it and stop it okay so to do those three things we need first three buttons so let me add three ui elements uh, if you don't see hierarchy panel go to windows and select hierarchy here from there you go to ui on right clicking you'll get ui and from there you go to button okay so i got a button and it's too small let me scale that thing up okay use this thing and scale it okay so now you have a bigger button so go to the text and change that as play okay that's play so now we copy and paste a another button uh, for pause and move it down and in text we going to say that it's pause okay so for stop we need one more button so that thing we're going to say it as stop sorry stop okay so now move that stop down and we have three buttons now and you need to have a one music guys uh, so that can be of anything okay that's my music and uh, so whenever i say play so why my canvas is uh, kind of uh, yeah see uh, i was rotating towards uh, that's other other half okay so play pause and play so when i click play it should play when i click pause it should play pause it should stop so all that things should happen so let me create a new game object and name that game object as music uh, manager okay mgr a short form okay and then we going to add an audio source on top of this so audio source is the thing uh, uh, that will add a music on top of your uh, on top of your uh, game object or else okay so this is how you you can use it as to play pause and stop okay so one of the first thing you need to do is you need to create a music manager script okay so this can be done using right click create c sharp script okay so then you can rename it however you want so let me delete that one okay so i have created it already i will just go to the my music manager game object and add that script on top of that and i will open my script ignore okay so here i have my script so now for playing music you need to write a function okay so that is public void play music okay so now you need to get an what you need to get you need to get an audio source right so that audio source we don't have so we will get an public audio oh we have a spelling mistake there public audio source so audio source is equal to src okay so now we will say that src dot play okay so this will play the music from start now need two more functions for pause and and okay and stop okay so play music this is pause music and this is stop music okay so we're gonna uh, as per us we're gonna change the functions also okay so these are the default functions okay, you don't need to write them this is already there okay now save that thing save all then minimize your thing and go to your game object and now as you can see i created a public variable which has already is here so just drag your game object and place it onto that so now your audio source is on top of here so you can get it this way or else you can get component you, you use something like that and you get it so this is more easier for me so i did that okay so now when you call a play function play will happen to do that you need to go on to the button and click on click what should happen play function should execute 
for that you need to drag and drop music manager from hierarchy and select music manager play music next one is pause for pause we want to select music manager pause okay and for stop we gonna select click again drag and drop same thing go and stop your music stop music okay so now when i play it music will play pause it okay i can play now play it will if i play play now it will start from the beginning pause stop the music and uh, if you really like the video please subscribe guys and uh, share my videos and thank you for watching bye bye